Unit 9 Deep Sea Animals Pre-reading questions Label the animals and objects from the story Cushion, squid, tentacle, lantern, sea lily, jellyfish, star eel Deep Sea Discovery It's going to be boring, complained Jack I hate museums. It's not a museum, it's an aquarium dad explained. Same thing muttered Jack. It'll be boring anyway. There's a new exhibition said Molly. It's called Deep Sea Discovery. It was designed by scientists. You can operate a camera that is deep in the sea. I'd like to go there first. Good idea said dad. Ha, huh, grunted Jack. It was dim in the deep sea discovery room. There were some video screens with desks in front and some controls. Molly went to the nearest desk and read the instructions. Then she began to work the controls. The black screen turned dark blue. There aren't any animals said Jack. Come on. This is boring, oh. At that moment an astonishing creature swam across the screen. It was red but the color glowed warmly. It looked like a Chinese lantern. Suddenly, flashes of color ran up its tentacles. It was as bright as an electric sign in the street. That's so beautiful whispered Molly. Wow, exclaimed Jack, pointing at the screen. Look at that. A strange silver animal began to cross the screen. It was long and flat. It had lots of tiny tentacles along both sides of its narrow body. It flapped gently up and down as it moved through the water. It looked like a long silver wave. This control turns the camera said Molly and she turned it away from the silver creature that was already disappearing into the gloom. Can I have a go? asked Jack. Of course replied Molly and she got up to let Jack sit down. For the next hour they watched one strange creature after another. There were crabs with such small bodies and such long, thin legs that they looked like giant spiders. There was an eel with a long thin tail and an enormous head and mouth. Its mouth was so big that it could eat fish as big as itself. There were tiny squid that made light in their own bodies. They shone like little flashing stars. There was a small furry sponge. There were big squid and jellyfish that you could nearly see right through. Some of them had long hairy tentacles. They floated around picking up bits of food. One jellyfish looked like a plastic bag with eyes. Another one looked like a big round cushion. There was an incredible creature that looked like a flower. It was called a sea lily but it was an animal. The parts of it that looked like leaves and a flower were actually tiny tentacles. They picked up food and passed it to the animal's mouth in the middle of the flower. After two hours, Dad said, do you want to go soon? Jack looked round in surprise. You're not bored already, are you, Dad, he asked. Who said it? Tick the correct box. Molly Dad Jack. One it's not a museum, it's an aquarium. Two it was designed by scientists. Three good idea. Four there aren't any animals. Five that's so beautiful. 6. Look at that. 7. This control turns the camera. 8. Can I have a go? 9. Do you want to go now? 10. You're not bored already, are you? Think about the answers to these questions. 1. Who do you think is older, Jack or Molly? Why? 2. Which do you think is more interesting, an aquarium or a museum? Why? 
3. Did Jack change his mind about the aquarium? How do you know? Listen and read. Molly, what are you going to do at the weekend? Sam, well, I want to watch a football match. Molly, on TV or at the stadium? Sam, at the stadium. The trouble is I don't think I can. Molly, why not? Sam, because I ought to go to my grandma's birthday party. Molly, you can't miss that. Sam, no. How about you? What are you going to do? Molly, well, I want to go shopping but I'm not sure if I will. Sam, why not? Molly, because I need to tidy my bedroom. It's in a terrible mess. And anyway I haven't got any money. Sam, well, that's that then. Listen and say. Billy Joe and Jobbly. Naughty twins, the age of three. Visitors say, aren't they sweet? I say, yes, when they're asleep. But when they run and scream and shout. And fight and throw their food about. And break their toys and tease the cat. And make a boat with grandpa's hat. And jump in the mud and splash in a puddle. They're not sweet. They're double trouble. Actually. Already. Anyway. Aquarium. Astonishing. Bored. Boring. Complain. Control. Crabs. Creature. Cushion. Deep. Jellyfish. Keep off. Label. Lantern. Leaves. Lily. Miss. Mouth. Mud. Museums. Muttered. Narrow. Naughty. Designed. Desks. Dim. Disappearing. Discovery. Double. Eel. Electric. Enormous. Exclaim. Exhibition. Explain. Fence. Fight. Objects. Operate. Puddle. Scientists. Scream. Shout. Sign. Spiders. Splash. Sponge. Squid. Stadium. Star. Surprise. Flapped. Flashing. Furry. Giant. Gloom. Grunted. Hairy. Hate. Incredible. Instructions. Sweet. Tease. Tentacle. Throw. Tidy. Tiny. Toys. Trouble. Wave. Ward. The past simple tense. Form, one, inactive. Affirmative subject and verb in the past, second form. Negative subject and didn't and infinitive. Interrogative did and subject and infinitive. Question word and did and subject and infinitive. I, watch, a new film yesterday. Correct, not, did, when.
I watched a new film yesterday. I didn't watch a new film yesterday. Did you watch a new film yesterday? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. When did you watch a new film? Yesterday. Ali, buy a shirt last week. Correct, not, did, what. Ali bought a shirt last week. Ali didn't buy a shirt last week. Did Ali buy a shirt last week? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. What did Ali buy last week? A shirt. I, be, at home an hour ago. Correct, not, were, where. I was at home an hour ago. I wasn't at home an hour ago. Were you at home an hour ago? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Where were you an hour ago? At home. Use, it's used to express. A completed action in the past at a definite time. I met him yesterday. They got home very late last night. I had my first son in 2004. They finished the meeting two hours ago. Completed actions in the past when the time is asked about. How long ago did she buy her car? When did he arrive to that location? A completed action in the past when the action clearly took place at a definite time even though this time is not mentioned. The train was 10 minutes late. I bought this car in Montreal. We were very happy in Salma's birthday party. An action that was true for some time in the past. Ali enjoyed being a student. My mother once saw Queen Victoria. Telling a story or incidents happened in the past. Last week, I went to Luxor. I traveled by plane. I stayed there in a hotel. I met some of my old friends. I visited the temples there. I enjoyed a lot. A past habit or something that happened several times in the past. He always carried an umbrella. They never drank wine. In conditional sentences, type 2. If he played well, he would win the match. He could get a new job if he really tried. To talk about wishes for the present. I wish I was dot were taller. Adele wishes he wasn't dot weren't so busy. I'm freezing. If only it wasn't. Weren't so cold. The past simple tense in passive. Affirmative object and was were and past participle. Negative object and wasn't, weren't and pp. Interrogative was, were and object and pp. Question word and was, were and object and pp. Dash. I met my wife a long time ago. Active. My wife was met a long time ago by me. Passive. Adele bought two shirts yesterday. Active. Two shirts were bought by Adele yesterday. Passive. No one saw the accident last night. Active. The accident wasn't seen last night. Passive. He didn't call the police. Active. 
The police wasn't called by him. Passive. They didn't finish the reports yesterday. Active. The reports weren't finished by them yesterday. Passive. Did you ever attend a conference? Active. Was a conference ever attended by you? Passive. Did Rami study math and science last term? Active. Were math and science studied by Rami last term? Passive. Where did she see Adele? Active. Where was Adele seen by her? Passive. How did he win these medals? Active. How were these medals won by him? Passive. Key words are Yesterday, for, ago Last In the past in, one day, once In ancient times, once upon a time, from to Modal phrases, semimodals Modal phrases, or semimodals, are a combination of auxiliary verbs and the preposition to Have to has to, had to, used to, need to, dare to, be able to, be going to, want to, hope to. I won't be able to visit you tomorrow. She has to give up smoke. I had to work late last night. They used to spend the summer in Alex when they were young. Students need to respect their teachers. She dared to face the big dog without fear. They are going to go to the club after school. My son wants to become an engineer. Eamon hopes to win the race. All the previous verbs followed by infinitive.